This video is about colposcopy. It will explain what one is and why someone might have a colposcopy. After your cervical screening, which some people call a smear test, you can get a letter or telephone call saying you need a colposcopy. A colposcopy is important because it checks to see if you need any further treatment. You might be asked to have a colposcopy if the doctor or nurse thought your cervix did not look healthy. You may have a human papillomavirus or HPV infection, which has not gone away. Your test results found some unhealthy cells on your cervix. Your cervix is inside your body at the top of your vagina. This is what a healthy cervix and a cervix with abnormal or unhealthy cells may look like. Abnormal cells are not usually cancer. The cells on the cervix may be infected with the human papillomavirus, HPV. HPV can increase your risk of cervical cancer. Most HPV infections go away on their own. Sometimes, HPV damages the cells, making them abnormal. This causes the cells to change and grow. The doctor or nurse can remove unhealthy cells before they turn into cancer. A colposcopy is a test that takes a closer look at the cells on your cervix. A machine called a colposcope has a bright light. This will be used to look at your cervix from outside your vagina. It works like binoculars. You cannot have the test if you are on your period. If you think you might be on your period, don't panic. Just contact the clinic using the details on the letter to change the appointment day and time. A colposcopy usually happens at a hospital. You can bring someone with you. This could be a friend, family member, support worker or your partner. You can choose if you want to have this person in the room with you or they can wait outside. If you would like someone to come with you, Make sure you ask them in plenty of time. Do not have sex or put any creams or talcum powder near your vagina for 24 hours before your appointment. When it is time for your appointment, the doctor or nurse will take you into a private room. The doctor or nurse will explain what will happen and you can ask as many questions as you like. They might ask you some questions, like when was your last period? The doctor or nurse will ask you to remove the bottom half of your clothing and your knickers behind a curtain. You will be asked to lie down on a special bed with your legs up. You will be given a sheet to put over your bottom half. The doctor or nurse will use a speculum to see your cervix. A speculum is used to open your vagina slightly. This is so the doctor or nurse can see your cervix. There are different sizes to suit your body. The doctor or nurse will then use the colposcope to look at your cervix from outside your vagina. The colposcope stays outside your vagina. The doctor or nurse will need to see the unusual cells on your cervix. They use a special dye. This makes abnormal cells change color. This helps the doctor or nurse to see the cells clearly. Sometimes, the doctor or nurse will treat the abnormal cells on the same day, but they will tell you first. The doctor or nurse might take away a tiny piece of your cervix to send to the lab. This is called a biopsy. You will be told if this is needed. This part of the test will last between 10 to 20 minutes. A colposcopy can feel uncomfortable. Sometimes people may feel some pain. If you feel any pain, tell the doctor or nurse and they will try to make it more comfortable for you. Try to relax as much as possible. You can do this by listening to music taking steady breaths, or talking to the doctor or nurse or someone you have brought with you. Most people feel fine after their appointment and can do their usual activities. Or some people may want to go home and rest for a while. You might bleed a little bit after your appointment. This is normal and should stop in three to five days. Until the bleeding stops, wear a sanitary pad. Avoid using a tampon. Avoid having sex. Avoid putting anything in your vagina. You will get a letter with your results in six to eight weeks. If your cervix looks healthy, you will be invited for your next smear test in five years. Some people might need to go back to the hospital or GP for further treatment. Depending on your results, you might be asked to come back for further tests or treatment, or you will be seen later on for your next screen. If you have any questions about your appointment, you can call the number on your letter.